the years, through the, you know the 24 years that I've been in teaching, we have made differences. And sometimes when kids leave the doors of the high school, you never hear these important pieces of their lives that they want to share about our staff. When I was in ninth grade, we went to Fraser in Louisville and shadowed in the physical therapy department. And I had always kept that kind of in the back of my mind. And I don't know, being from a small town, if I'd even know about physical therapy had we not taken that trip. I look back that I really think I had a lot of opportunities for leadership, um, for community service, and I had a creative outlet. Um, and I felt like my opinions always mattered. organizing, balancing academics with extracurriculars. All those skills I definitely took from Carroll County and used some at UK. The first teacher that kind of pops out in my mind was uh, in third grade, I had uh, Mrs. Beecraft. Uh, I think it was her first or second year teaching. And uh, that was really the first time I remember thinking, you know, if I work hard and, uh, you know, put my mind to it, I can do, you know, I can accomplish or achieve anything I want. I left Louisville, I worked for Bank of America in Louisville, I started working for a law firm in Atlanta in my computer and log into their system and it was just as if I was theirs. Learning that took place 23, 24 years ago when we walked in the door is so much different than what it is today. The opportunities that the kids have with computers and the smart boards and TVs in every room. You know, I remember, you know, watching the space shuttle. We all went in the, the gym, you know, they had one TV and we said that, you know, and so, I mean, we've come such a long way with technology. The telecommunication age opens the world up to um, enormous possibilities with Skype and um, things like that. Halfway across the world, you can be in the same room with one another. I think it's important to remember that we are teaching the digital learners. You know, as we move forward in the 21st century, this is a skill that they're going to have to have um, when they pass our doors. And it is a, a tool that helps engage the content. Coach Barry in his science class. He, he provided me with other opportunities to learn beyond the regular curriculum. I always, I always appreciated that. I'm not so sure it was really their delivery as much as the fact what they did was relevant and they had passion about what they were doing and they cared about you. I mean, they, they took the time to make a connection. Most of those teachers were excited about the topics they were teaching. And that was infectious. You know, there's so many little things that you can remember. Oh, I got to do this. And chemistry, I got to make rock candy. So mm -hmm. just fun things that you can remember along the way that helped learn, but didn't seem as much like learning. We're always great projects and great things to do. Probably. Any, any time we were able to do uh, any activity or assignment that was related to, um, to real life, you know, practical, you know, anything you can relate to real life I think is really important for a student. That, that those sort of things stick out. Uh, I, I know a good example of that would be uh, like Mrs. James. I had her for uh, seventh grade math and she always had a lot of activities and assignments that, um, that were related to real life. It's just something that I guess as a student you want to know that what you're doing um, your, is really necessary. What I find interesting is I can name almost every teacher that I had from kindergarten till I graduated from high school. Um, I can only name a handful of college professors that I've had and I think that that says something. Um, in fourth grade when I had Miss Leap, um, she taught me that it was okay to be smart. <laughs> um, it was okay to be a smart girl um, and you know you don't automatically know that when you're in fourth grade. When I had Sam Simpson in history um, 
He taught me that it was not okay to just be smart. You also had to apply your... I've uh, pursued my, one of my hobbies is uh, running, which I began here in the middle school and uh, carried throughout my uh, time here at Carroll County. So I've, I've ran in Boston, Chicago, uh, a few others, Louisville and Cincinnati, and uh, was kind of inspired uh, by uh, Jim Grubmeyer when I was younger, you know, here at middle school. Uh, watched him run a few marathons. And he ran Boston when I was here uh, in middle school, and uh, you know he encouraged me to, to keep going and do the best I could. And uh, he took me actually to uh, the first road race that I. I think you know I think that's one of the advantages of, of Carroll County. I mean, when you had graduating classes averaging about a hundred, you know every teacher knows every student, and, and they care about their students. And that's the main thing, is, is showing the students that they care and showing them that they're really invested in their education and really invested in where they're going to go in life. Not only my experiences, but my experiences as dealing with juveniles in the court system and things like that, every staff member makes a difference, whether you realize it or not. I remember several things very distinctly. I can still picture them in, in my head. Um, I can remember being in Cartmel and Tina Owen, the custodian, coming over and opening my milk for me. I remember one of the lunch ladies there bought me a Kermit the Frog for Christmas one time. I remember Jill Crow in high school biology singing to the class and doing air guitar on, up on her desk because she was trying to entertain us and trying to make learning fun. Everything you do makes a difference and it also has the, it also has the possibility of going the other way. Being nice to people and caring for people. Um, you know, the teachers of Carroll County always did care about you, and they've always, they've always been there. In the politics, you know, you, you've, you've got to be nice to people. You be nice to people, and they'll reward you. You know, but you've also got to do your job, and you know, and then they respect that. So. Well, I was down in the basement and dug out actually some of my old school work, mm -hmm. and I found a my English journal from 1988. I was 15 years old and at the time the English teacher I think the topic of the day had to be where will you be in 20 years you know and I thought geez I don't know I'm 15 years old I'm worried about getting a driver's license man. I don't want to know where you know but I started reading that and it said well I'm gonna be 35 I'll be in the prime of my life I'll probably have some kind of technical job making about 65,000 a year and be working at a place probably something like Dow Corn. Now, you know, I left Carroll County in 1991, moved to Indiana, worked in Indiana, somehow find my way back around here and, you know, true to form, I read that. I, I just kind of sit there and looked at that for a minute and I thought, you know, that one event, you know, just that one question, making things relevant about, you know, where are you going to be and looking ahead. And again, that shows a little bit of they might have not cared, I don't know, but it seemed like they were interested in me as a human being and not just a student. And, you know, you write those things down and set goals for yourself, you're naturally going to gravitate towards those. And a lot of people post them on the wall. I completely forgot I wrote that. 22 years later, I'm sitting there in the basement reading that. And I'm like, when I walk down the halls of Carroll County High School, I still feel a sense of pride. And I enjoy being able to walk down the halls and see Miss Richter or see Miss Burkle or mm -hmm. other teachers who give me a you know big hug or a warm smile. And um, I know that they still believe in me and, and want to help me out. This is a long time back in school. This is not a hard class or anything. But um, my first, second, third grade teacher, Miss Smith, has followed me from whenever I was in first grade to when I graduated, and still sends birthday cards. And I'm 22, so. It wasn't always the teachers that I thought would be inspirational and out to be, but um, you know there was uh, Sam Simpson. Uh, he was over the uh, the school play at the high school, and uh, at the end of the play, he let me keep a suit that he let me uh, borrow for that play, and I ended up using that suit uh, at my graduation, my first job interview, and my college graduation. You know, so it's just one of those things that it was a small thing that a teacher did for me that uh, meant a lot more than just what's in the textbook they're teaching. 
is like I said about Miss Smith, is just connecting with the student um, can go a lot longer way than the math equation you teach them. Knowing that somebody wants you to do good and is pushing you to do good can help a lot farther than just what's in the textbook. I know our lives are very, very busy, but if we can slow down and think about what we want to be treated like, being caring, being, um, you know, passionate, and, you know, really taking pride not only in your schools, but within yourself. Making sure that what you do in your life has an impact. You know, when, when we are gone from Carroll County Schools, we want to look back and say, yeah, we've had an impact here. Kids have to know that we are caring adults and we'll do anything to champion for their education in Carroll County Schools.